Hey guys, this is Neil with Catalyst Machine Works, and I am excited today about a setup that I tried. Well, I'm always excited about something, okay, but I'm extra excited today. So this one was suggested by one of our customers, Clint, and then he had been talking to a Catalyst pilot, Ryan Evans, about it, and they sort of got me on board, and I tried it out. And let me explain what this is, okay? So this is a 6S system, right? So you're using a 6S battery with a 1050 mAh pack, 6S, and a low C, low C rating battery. It's only a 45C battery, okay? Then you couple that with a very low KV motor, all right? So this is a 2207 motor, so that means it's got a big stator, a lot of torque, and 1660 KV. Now, um, why would you do that? All right, so what's, what's the objective here? All right, so the objective is to find an equivalent or close to an equivalent theoretical RPM that you would get if, say, for instance, you were using a four-cell battery, which are common in racing, coupled with, say, a 2400 kV to, you know, 2500 kV, somewhere in that range. Now, the theoretical advantage of that is that because of the increase in voltage, you're going to get a decrease in amperage. It's actually a significant decrease in the amperage of the system. Okay, so you're getting a more efficient system, you should be getting longer run times, and because you are running such a low KV motor with such a high voltage battery, the torque is unbelievable. All right, now, I, I flew this thing for the first time yesterday, and I did it on this prop here. This is a, this is a dial 5046 prop, and I flew this thing, and it was nice, okay? Don't get me wrong, I felt, I felt happy about it, but I wasn't blown away. I wasn't thinking, okay, this is, the, this is the, the next big thing. This is the latest and greatest. This is something special. You know, down low from low end to, to mid throttle, had a lot of torque. I was getting really good run times, you know, very efficient system. I was getting about 30 seconds more than I'm used to. But up high, it just kind of left some to be desired. Then I went out again today, gave it another chance, and I flew uh, with my brother today, and I pulled out these gym fans. These are, uh, these are a relatively new prop from gym fan. It's a 5152. So the diameter is a bit bigger than a regular 5-inch prop, and it has a very aggressive pitch. They're really good props, actually. And when I did that, this thing opened up. I mean, it was beastly fast. My brother and I were just, our jaws were on the ground, like, what the hell just happened? I mean, the, the torque was through the roof, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the top end was there suddenly. And I mean, it is just godly fast. So cool, man. I was just so excited. Um, and I had this GoPro on here. This is a heavy, this is a heavy GoPro. So I'm gonna go back out and try this thing uh, without the GoPro and see just how fast this is, right? And so let's look at some numbers. Okay, so what I'm noticing with this system, to kind of sum it all up here, is that what I'm noticing with this system is that I'm getting longer run times, I'm getting more torque than I'm used to down low, which is important for track racing. I'm getting more top end than I'm used to with an equivalent 4S setup. Right, so these two batteries have about the same watt hour. This one has a little bit more watt hour, but about the same. If we look at the weight of this 1550, I've got 183 grams. The weight of this 6S, 1050, 168. All right, so I've got a lighter pack that is giving me about the same runtime, maybe a little bit more than this 1550. But I've got more power. I definitely have more power. I could feel it. All right, so I think that there is definitely something to this setup. And I'm going to uh, experiment more with it. I'm gonna use different props and obviously take this big hunking thing off of here. But you guys have gotta try this setup out. I'm very confident in it. <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. So that's it.